Here's the story I was talking about here, using art to overcome cognitive barriers. A unique program developed at Miami University, pairing up younger and older generations to create something beautiful. WLWT News Science Eric Zarnitz shows us tonight how the Opening Minds Through Art program is helping dementia patients. A lot of people think folks dealing with dementia are also dealing with a blank slate. But today, OMO volunteers help these folks find their color. Fun is what, what the world is made of. Well, she's fun. She's a fun person. That's why I like her. And she's not only, she's very pretty, too. You never know in life where you'll meet your best friends. For Hannah, it began as part of her senior project last August. I haven't used any yellow, have I? I developed such a good friendship with my friend David, and I absolutely love what Oma does here, and I had to come back. Oma stands for Opening Minds Through Art. Its mission, to build bridges across age and cognitive barriers. So it's like a personal fear that I wanted to challenge, and so I immersed myself and moved into a nursing home to live with people who have dementia in order to be able to understand what it's like. Dr. Elizabeth Loken founded the program in 2007 at Miami University, Scripps Gerontology Center. Right in the center, can you see that? She now is taking OMA worldwide. We love to be together and it's one thing that she's still able to do and we can interact together and um, express herself. Helping families connect, friendships form, and for those facing dementia, an outlet to express themselves. David has shown me all kinds of things through his artwork and through conversation and through friendship. Um, I gain out of it a lifetime experience. Each one of the glazed tiles is taken back to Rookwood, fired, and then framed. There's also a brass plaque put at the bottom with the artist's name. And when everything's complete, it's hung up in this hallway and eventually goes home with the artists and their families. Reporting from Cedar Village in Mason, Eric Zarnitz, WLWT News 5. Now, according to Dr. Loken, one on one contact works best, and volunteers need training. So if you are interested, contact the Scripps Gerontology Center at Miami University. One important way the program is funded Rookwood Pottery donates the tiles, glaze, firing, and frames for all of those art projects.